Hello there. Today we are going to start a new series on sorting algorithms, and this is the first video of the series, and today we are going to learn about one of the simple sorting algorithms called bubble sort. So let's get started. Bubble sort is a simple and popular algorithm used for sorting an array or list of elements in ascending or descending order. It works by repeatedly swapping adjacent elements if they are in the wrong order, and it continues to do so until the entire list is sorted. Let's say we have an unsorted array of integers. To sort this array using bubble sort, we would do the following. Starting at the beginning of the list, compare the first two elements. If the first element is larger than the second element, swap them. In this case, 5 is larger than 2, so we swap them to get. Move to the next pair of elements, and repeat step 1 until you reach the end of the list. We compare 5 and 8, and they are already in the correct order, so we move on to 8 and 3. Since 8 is larger than 3, we swap them to get. We continue in this manner until we reach the end of the list and get. Now the largest element is at the end of the list. Repeat steps 1 and 2 for all elements except the last one. Since 8 is already in its correct position, we don't include it in the next pass. We start with 2 and 5, and they are already in the correct order, so we move on to 5 and 3. We swap them to get. We continue in this manner until we reach the end of the list and get. Continue the process until no more swaps are required, indicating that the list is now sorted. We repeat step 3 until we make a pass through the list without swapping any element. In this example, after the fourth pass, the list is already sorted, so we stop. And the final sorted array is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8. Now let's discuss some of the properties of algorithm. Bubble sort is a comparison-based algorithm that only requires comparisons between adjacent elements in the array. The best case time complexity of bubble sort is big O of n, which occurs when the input array is already sorted. In this case, the algorithm only needs to make one pass through the array to confirm that it is sorted. The worst case time complexity of bubble sort is big O of n square, which occurs when the input array is sorted in reverse order. In this case, the algorithm must make n1 passes through the array, and each pass requires n1 comparisons and swaps. The average case time complexity of bubble sort is also big O of n square, which means that the algorithm's performance is generally poor for large datasets. Bubble sort is an in-place sorting algorithm, which means that it does not require any additional memory to store the sorted array. Bubble sort is a stable sorting algorithm, which means that it preserves the order of equal elements during the sorting process. Bubble sort has an adaptive nature, meaning that its performance can be improved for partially sorted or nearly sorted arrays. When the input array is already partially sorted, bubble sort can take advantage of this and reduce the number of comparisons and swaps needed to sort the array. We can do so if we impose a condition that stop execution when no swapping is done in one pass. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. I will upload new videos soon till then keep learning.